are on flower number 28 today and this one is actually really simple because we are going to be using the same exact stamp 12 times to create this flower. So let's go ahead and start by creating a new layer, grabbing stamp number 28, and I'm going to do my first layer in a nice dark pink, kind of a bright pink. And I'll go ahead and stamp that down. Way too small, so I'll two finger tap to undo. And let's go even bigger. All right, so I'll use my arrow tool to slide that into place and resize just a bit. Okay, so we are going to use that again at the same size. So let's swipe left and duplicate. And now this time we want it to be like a navy color. So I'm just going to grab that color and drag and drop. Now I'll click my arrow tool and click rotate. 45 doesn't work this time, so I'll manually rotate it. Sometimes I try 45 and see how it comes out. So if you manually rotate it, just grab your arrow tool and then rotate it so that it overlaps fairly evenly. All right, so now we want to do a yellow layer. So I'll grab a brighter yellow color and you could either duplicate it again or you could add a new layer, reduce the size of your brush and then stamp it in the middle. So now we'll use our arrow tool and resize it so it fits and for that one I want the leaves going the same direction as the navy flower. Oops, so right about there and then we're going to do it one more time. This time I will swipe left and duplicate. It doesn't matter what you do, I'm just showing you different ways to do the same thing. I will make that version white, and again, use the arrow tool to make it smaller. All right, so we've got our four main layers, and now we're just gonna add some in a teal color at a really small size. So I'm gonna put those on their own layer as well, so they're easy to adjust. So I'll come to a pretty small size. Let's test it out. That's kind of perfect. So then I'm just going to stamp it between each set of petals. You don't have to be too careful because we can um, edit it later. So just get them all down. You can see my hand did that one, so I'll erase that out. So now if we don't like how they're laid out, I think I actually used too many. I did. So I can two finger tap to undo all the way back till everything's gone. You can see in this example, I skipped every other one. So, and I actually think I like how that looks better. So now make sure we're still on our own layer. I can go in, whoop, grab my brush tool and just do every other set of petals and stamp that in. Okay, so now if you wanna adjust any of the stamps you just did, you can grab this little ribbon looking tool and you can make sure it's on freehand and then all you have to do is circle things, grab your arrow tool and you can move those around to kind of get them into place a little better if some aren't quite centered or if you want them to be closer or further from your petals, you can adjust those as needed. So that completes that flower. So then we'll just go ahead and grab all our layers and pinch them down into one layer. And now our whole flower is on one layer and we can adjust it as needed. We can duplicate it and make extra copies. An easy way to change the colors instead of manually changing all the colors that you can try is coming over here to this little tool that looks kind of like a magic wand and then tap your hue, saturation, brightness, tap layer. And then over here in the hue, you can change it just by using the slider. Look, that might be a fun Christmas one. And you can kind of play with different color variations. I really like that. That one's not that different, but I like that too. Just by using the slider. And then you can also change your saturation. You can change your brightness. You can really play with it without actually physically changing all the colors. 